Hey, y'all. So I wanted to share this solution to a problem that I was having, and I'm pretty sure that you as a creator might be having, and that is storage. A couple of years ago, I started, you know, with this uh, little hard drive right here. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have this little Seagate hard drive. Then, of course, I've had the Western digital ones, the four terabyte, the little big ones. The issue that I would run into is, you know, running out of space. So this is a Seagate um, 500 gigabyte hard drive that my little sister got for me for my birthday, I think like in 2014. And um, it's great. It's been it's been working pretty great so far, but it you can't really use more than um, what it's what's what it's for. So it's 400, 500 gigabytes. It's maxed out at that. I got this thing called a TerraMaster NAS. I'm sorry, <laughs> TerraMaster DAS. Uh, and DAS, and that stands for uh, Direct Attached Storage. So this thing, I'm able, I'm able to connect it directly to my computer. And you're like, whoa, this is, whoa, Gil, he came from this small little thing, which is like the size of a wallet, to like this thing that you have to hold with, with both of your hands. Um, I'm going to tell you here and now, this is well worth it. So imagine this is a DAS. So imagine it like a drawer um, for your clothes. So in one drawer here, we have one hard drive. And the second drawer, we have another hard drive. Um, the way I have my the way I have my DAS set up is that I have all these hard drives are a direct copy of this one. So if this one fails, I have this one as a backup, the drawer two, drawer three. And I, I only have it towards uh, these four drawers right here. The last drawer I have for a, I'm running Windows 10 on here and I'm using Windows 10 so I could run different types of programs. You know, a lot of programs on Mac because I, I, I use Mac for my uh, main operating system. And I like to have a Windows 10 because I could play games like Diablo. I can use Windows software and stuff like that when I need it. So, um, and you're like, well, Gil, I'm probably good with you. Gil, you're good with the DAS, right? You don't need to upgrade. So here's the problem. I wanted to eliminate like my subscription services. So me and my wife started eliminating like a lot of our subscription services, like Hulu, uh, Peacock, um, just a, a bevy of, of different things. Like, like even Netflix, we're thinking about, you know, leaving Netflix. So I was like, what other subscription service that we use that we can literally have a solution for? Now, I was thinking like eliminating Dropbox and eliminating Google Drive, but the DAS won't really work because the DAS is not able to connect to the internet. I'm only able to connect to my DAS via USB, and I'm only able to connect it to one computer at a time, which can't really help with that. So here comes Synology with their DS, um, what's it, DS923. And this is essentially the same thing as a DAS, minus it has uh, Ethernet ports in the back with the ability to upgrade. That's exposed, isn't it? Normally supposed to be closed there. It has the ability to um, add a one gigabit Ethernet port in the back that way I can get fast and reliable transfer speeds. So I, right now I have uh, one eight terabyte here and another eight terabyte in here. These are currently empty. I haven't really filled them yet. And at the bottom, I have these beautiful things called a NVMe drive. I have two 500 gigabytes uh, right here and they pretty much help the NAS work a little bit better, like they cache a lot of the data so that my hard drives don't have to work as hard. Um, it's really quiet compared to my DAS. And it's, I mean, obviously I have more hard drives in here, but it's a lot lighter. And you're asking, well, Gil, what, what solution does the NAS solve? Like I said earlier, I'm thinking about eliminating a lot of my subscription services. 
So my NAS, I'm able to house client photos and videos. I'm a podcast producer and photographer. So I normally use a Google Drive or I use a Dropbox to upload the files to, the, the, to their server and send the clients the link. Now, if Google Drive or who knows, Go, uh, Dropbox um, goes bad or I lose my subscription or I'm not able to pay for it, my clients will, will no longer have access to those photos. So with the NAS, I can basically create a server for my clients to access their photos and videos. Wow! And I do have editors that I can give access to the drive. So if we're working on a project, I will have them I will have them edit and work on this NAS. So it solves a lot of problems. And also, here's another cool thing that I'm using the NAS for. I have a lot of content that I have downloaded over the years. I have a lot of DVDs that um, I have purchased. I have a lot of movies that I've downloaded and a lot of shows. And they're just sitting on, <laughs> they're sitting on uh, the DAS. You know, sometimes I'll have access, I'll like play it on a computer, but now I'm able to transfer those content, those TV shows, those movies, and put them on the NAS and treat my NAS as my own Netflix, as my own HBO Max. So I have my own television movie subscription server on the NAS. So that's, it's really cool. What a time to be alive. And it, it really just makes you think, wow, you really can do a lot with this um, with this NAS system. So it all and also it's upgradable. So with with this little hard drive, it's 500 gigs. This I can add as many hard drives as I want to. So if I have uh, 18 terabyte, OK, 118, another 18, another 18, another 18, and I'll be able to have this backed up. I'll be able to back up all the drives if anything were to happen. Like if I lose everything that's in here, it's gone. Um, it's something, something to think about. And a lot of people will say, well, I'm not creating content. I'm not uh, a developer. I'm not, I don't have any editors. I'm just uh, a mom. I'm just a dude. I'm just a dad. I just, you know, I just do little TikTok videos here and there, or I do my taxes and that's it. Those are essentially files that you want to keep safe. And if you have a NAS, you'd be able to house them yourself. Uh, yeah, of course, you can use Google Drive. You can use Dropbox. You can use all that. But I want you to think about having control of your media, having control of your content. And uh, uh, one last thing about this NAS, you can actually have your own website. What? Wait, hold on. Back it up. What? What? Where? Who? What? Yes, I said that. So you can actually create your own website, get your domain via domain name via GoDaddy or Google. Google's pretty dope. And then you can pretty much create. You'll have this as a server at home, at your home office or anywhere and host your own website. Whoa, <laughs> You're going to be off the grid, <laughs> essentially. Um, and. I feel like this is really dope and I'm, the possibilities are endless. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. I uh, hope y'all enjoy this. If y'all have any comments, uh, concerns, questions about the NAS versus, versus the DAS, let me know. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.